want to go into the world. He's obviously a pretty smart man with a uh, good academic background and I uh, have an early mind background. But the next thing I have a better account of the late game.
was arrested in an alleged party drive a gun in the city on square. And according to the criminal complaint, Mahalik was beaten on the other and was home country of Yemen between March 2015 and September 2015. It's also alleged to call the foreman looking for the government that he was supporting by the What's most alarming about this case is that it appears to be more than just ISIS and fire terrorism. For documents to be part, and this is not just speaking, if there is a gun on the garbage truck, uh, one drives and is not aware in consciousness. But I'm scared that they want the operation to be secure, but they have been interpreted as ISIS and is getting the question whether or not he was
Act early this morning, police say that a 62-year-old man was trying to open a package containing an inhaler when it blew up. The man was taken to the hospital with injuries to his head and chest. No word yet on his condition. He looked like a fucking Snoop Dogg with his hair all fucking up in these things. They're letting this guy know. Uh, There's a lot of ways to get to that trillion dollars, and I can tell you from our experience in the state of Indiana, utilizing public and private partnerships, utilizing bonding authority and 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 enlisting private capital. There's ways that you can do this uh, that that are going to be fiscally responsible, but also give us the resources that we need. Uh, so there was Mike Pence vice president. The Trump administration will pay for a. Trillion dollars in spending we're doing our road for the Well, in Massachusetts, center, Scott Brown, looking Washington, for all the states. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some personal matters to discuss with you in a moment here, but first, can you give us the fact, Mike? Yeah, you can have public private partnerships, sure. Uh, and here's the thing, uh, Bill, people want to make sure that the money that they're paying in gas taxes and the like are actually going to the uh, education program. Uh, and uh, they're not. They're going to everything but. And that's why people say, yeah, oh, we're not paying any more in gas tax. So the first thing you need to do is prioritize. What are the needs? And then you need to look at all the all the actual programs that are up there. So that even started. Well, maybe there are oh, some of them oh, are five, ten, yeah, the Pepsi code thing, yeah. So you, you claw back that, that money and reallocate it. I got it, I'm drinking some dudes. Very specific I'm projects. Yeah. Obviously, the public private bonding, those will all make sense. Yeah, if we're going to repay the money, there's another potential pool of money there. Uh, but to think that you're just going to have Congress give you a trillion dollars, i.e., which is our money, it's not going to happen. You're not going to have your car. Not this Congress. <laughs> no, no, especially on the House side. Now, if you go to Trump's website during the campaign, he talked about, a, I think it was a 10-page white paper, and then he talked about $137 billion that you could use for federal tax credits and get private investors to jump on those. I guess. $137 billion is a lot of money, but it's not a trillion dollars, so Senator. No, of course not. That's why they're going to have to prioritize. And by the way, this isn't going to be done overnight. This is over the term of a president. So you get it started. You, uh, for example, Flint, Michigan. I think that water system, quite frankly, is one of the top priorities. And I would argue if asked, uh, to, hey, listen, let's start there. Let's not only save lives. Let's fix it, uh, an infrastructure problem that can be beneficial to that city and to the entire state. Well, Trump clearly thinks, that, 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 thinks that private business can do the job better than government. You agree well, I think it's a, uh, I, I think it's a combination approach. I think there's opportunities for both, and not only for both to do it either individually, but both to do it collectively as well. So I, I don't think they're, they're mutually exclusive. Yeah, uh, we'll do our duties. Just let the Water Department have two of them. 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 It's adding more and more and more, and more red tape, which is a big wet blanket on businesses. It's absolutely a no-brainer, and you need to look at every regulation and fix it. You know that thing out of my mouth. You got this out of the vice president. You have a business out there. Business before you go to power bill and water bill, you got to pay it. Uh, that's a job that you can do when you do it. You got to pay the other one for it. It goes not with the business, it goes with the property. It's on the individual house. I could do it better because I have the North Bay. We have Georgia Power. We live in a place and you move up. We will go back on the other team. Somebody can do that. And also work with Congress, who I obviously know many of them, and really get everybody involved in the plan. Which is pretty good because they have a little bigger to do it. Because they get power, they run it up, and they call for whatever they do. They don't pay the money. Run it until they cut them off. And then they get in their damn sister. Yeah. And then they do that, and then they get the damn brother to get over there. They finally get tired of that shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
when you're inside of a meeting with Donald Trump, what's it like? How long did you meet? Um, I assume he leads the conversation, but just take our viewers inside that room for us. Well, certainly, I, I'm not sure what it's like with other people, but I thought yeah, he worked 15 hours a day, like he's been working. He was 16 years working. Like, that's only exactly what I feel. Because you know Obama ain't working four hours a day. He's working Saturday and Sunday. I'm not trying to make him feel good. I'll call him back and see how he's doing. Yeah, but he's a very good man. 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 He's a very I, 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 I don't want to say surprised, but I was encouraged when I walked in and looked rested. When I got into sleep and he looked rested. Uh, he was very calm and, and very methodical and very focused. And the place was like a beehive all around the trunk down with the oxygen. Everyone was working, everyone was going, and it was like boom, 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 boom. And so he had a very open and free flow for 40 minutes uh, about obviously the VA and many, many, many other things. Yeah. Okay, but he